Right, now the next section, or the last section, because I'm only going to do two levels on this, um, I'm going to <clears throat> put uh, some logs in there and uh, some pots with some cones in. Now you remember that big log I showed you at the beginning? I've now cut that into three. I didn't break this with my bare hands. I had to use a saw, I'm afraid, because I'm not that strong. Um, so we've got two nice sections um, about the depth um, of the hole we want to fill. The last one I'm going to leave like this because I just think it looks really really good. It started to rot on the inside and I expect that there are lots of bugs in there. This I'm not going to put in the section. I will show you what I'm going to do with that in a bit. But these two logs here I'm not just going to put them in just like that. What I'm going to do, which is why you need a fairly uh, sizable ones, make sure they, they're not too big to actually not get in uh, the space that you want, is I'm going to drill some holes just in the side that is facing towards me. Not the side that's away, just the side that's facing towards me. And I'm going to drill the biggest holes that I can with my drill bit. So, uh, We'll see how many we can fit in there. Depending on the size of your log, it depends how many you'll be able to fit in there. Don't squeeze them too close together. Just give them a good, um, a, a good distance between them. I expect one, two, three, four, five and six. I expect I'll do five around the outside and one in the middle. Um, and I think that will be about right. So um, I'll just get drilling. Right, now that's gone in about, mine because this will be hot, but well, I've got my gloves on so I'm okay. It's gone in about an inch. I'll try and get it in a little, little bit further, so I might stick it on hammer, but I warn you this could be loud. Excuse me. Yes, I think that's, that's a bit better. Try and get it in as far as you possibly can. So I'll just drill some more holes and I will come back to you in a sec. Right, well, um, I couldn't fit five in. I did four in one of them, um, and I did three in the other, um, just because this end is quite soft, and I didn't want to go too close to the edge. Um, so we've got seven little holes in there, but don't make sure that they're not any closer than that, which is about half an inch, I suppose, um, just because they, they just need space. And if you have them too close together, then they'll all go in together and um, it'll kind of defeat the object. Uh, but they've all gone in about between an inch and an inch and a half. Um, so uh, that's those. So we'll put those in the hole along with some other bits and pieces. I'll put both the logs in there, one there, and I think one up there, okay, with the holes facing me. And then I'm going to put in around them I'm going to put some plastic plant pots and they'll be filled up with some cones now the cones actually have got the little their little tails on so if they do you could squeeze them through the holes like this and hopefully it should keep them in one one place so we'll put those in if you wanted to put some leaves on top of here as well and that might be quite good actually so we'll pop that in the middle and see if we can squeeze another one in somewhere oh gloves are getting in the way now uh, but if you don't have much space you don't need to put them in the pots you can just stick the cones straight in in around them I mean I'm just putting them in here just to sort of keep them together so let's see if we can squeeze that one in as well there we are can always squash the pots down right oh that one's gonna go isn't it there we go let's do it like that okay and then what I might do is I might just stick the rest of the cones I've got quite a few in here actually in and around now when I was looking for these cones it was so funny there were um there were lots of squirrels about as well so 
every now and then you heard a little rustling in the trees, um, which was quite quite unnerving when there was nobody else about. So, um, but they're very sweet those squirrels there. So I'm just going to put those there. Oh, we need to lift that up. We can do that. I'm just squeeze another one in. Okay, like that. Some of them them are open and you can see the seeds inside but others were just so firmly oh I've lost that one down the back so firmly shut <coughs> that they uh, I think the squirrels had nicked them all so there we go so that's the last hole so there's lots of spaces uh, for bugs to go in little ladybirds and all sorts of things can can go in there uh, and this bug place is, uh, is quite good because it's not anywhere that the kids run past or I'd walk past and it would get knocked. So all we're going to do is just put some weights on the top and one other little thing. Right so just to stop the wind catching it and blowing it over and just keeping it a little bit more secure we'll just put a few more bricks on top just like that. Okay, and then there's no chance of it blowing away. And that last little bit of log, which is that one, which I think is absolutely gorgeous because it started to rot here. And you can see there's all sorts of little bits growing in there. So we'll put that there. I think I might put a brick behind it just to hold it in place and stop it from falling over. Hang on, let's move that one off. Stick that one up that way. There we go. That's a little bug home for all the little bugs over the winter. Well, that's my bug home, all done, all ready for lots of little visitors to come and uh, hopefully enjoy it. Um, so I think what I might do um, in a little while, uh, maybe a couple of months or so, is I, I may well come down and see what's in there. No, my luck, there won't be anything at all, but there we go. It's not really that cold at the moment. It's not as cold as I would expect it to be. We're in December at the moment, um, and this time last year it was freezing. Um, but we're sort of hovering um, just below sort of 10 at the moment, which is which is really warm. So um, I don't think they're going to come in here until it's got really really cold. Um, but if I do find anything, then I'll uh, I'll take a picture um, and I'll stick it on the blog so you can all see. But I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.